Hello fellow firewood fanatics, this is Chris and we are almost in the wood yard today. Today is a glorious day. It is about 74 degrees, there's a nice breeze, it's sunny, birds are singing, and I am the proud papa of a brand spanking new, just delivered, Easton Made Ultra. Here it is. We just got it. It came in on the truck and uh, I had to go to my buddy's place because I don't have a forklift because it was on a flatbed and he unloaded it for me and I hooked it up and uh, there it is. So yeah, it is about time. Been looking for this for many, many months. And when I say months, I mean months. When I first ordered it, it was January 21st, I believe. And that would have been 174 days ago. Now, when I ordered it, they told me 90 days. 174 days is a little bit more than 90. But at least it's here. I hope it was worth the wait. I know that they were super busy. And I know with all the uh, COVID and the shutdown and all that, I think that affected them. I don't know. I just hope it works good. All that matters is that it splits wood and uh, I can up my production tremendously, hopefully. Uh, my old splitter, the cycle time was like 16 or 17 seconds. The cycle time on this is like five seconds or less. And uh, so yeah, there it is. It is an ultra, ultra. And it's got the Honda, the G, is it GX? Yeah, GX340 engine and uh, it's got the very fast ram big tank for the hydraulic fluid and i'm kind of hoping that it does what i want it to do so we'll find out in a little bit It's me, my name with an ultra. Happy joy, happy joy. Well, we have moved the splitter into place. We brought it alongside a big pile that I have. It's a full truckload, it's 15 full cords. So once it's all split and stacked, we should end up with 35, 36, 37 face cords, something like that. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna start it up and we're gonna split the very first piece. So here we go, we'll see how easy she starts. Everything is on. Gotta turn this on, gas is on. Start it easy. Thank <laughs> you. 
can already tell I'm gonna be able to split three times as fast. It's as fast as you can feed it. It's uh, a little quicker than the old glacier over there. There's the glacier. <laughs> yeah, the only thing I'm worried about with this one is um, losing fingers because it's that fast. <laughs> so you gotta really pay attention. But yeah, as fast as you can feed it, it splits it. So, my new toy. I like it. I like it a lot. It is very fast compared to my old piece of crap glacier over there. This thing, I will be able to split easily a full cord, if not more, every hour. I just know by how fast it was going. I split for five minutes, five minutes, not even. I didn't even know what I was doing. And I already got this much right here, which is, I don't know, it's gotta be a third of a cord. So I think I could probably do four face cords pretty easily an hour, for sure, a full cord every hour. Uh, which is three times as fast as what I could do before because before I was just a little over a face cord Maybe a face cord and a quarter. That was about it with the with the glacier over there So yeah, I'll be able to move right along with this baby. I'm pretty sure it's gonna pay for itself really fast Just in the time savings alone is gonna be just absolutely tremendous So yeah, I'm gonna do some splitting now because uh, I've got about two hours So I'm gonna see what I can get done in two hours and uh, Gonna let it rip. So here we go Splitting time. So, the Ultra. Why did I buy the Ultra? Number one, I wanted fast. I wanted the fastest splitter I could get for the least amount of money. That was the other two reason. I didn't want to, you know, break the bank and spend all my money on just one piece of equipment. Even though a splitter is a very vital part of making firewood, I wanted to make it fast but affordable. Um, right now, this year, I'm at about 500 face cords of wood that I have cut. And once I get this pile cut in the pile that's behind the camera, uh, but this is all cut, once I get it all split, I'll have a little over 500, 520 or so face cords. And next year, I'd like to produce, you know, between six and 700. It's just like my goal. And I wanted something that would move along quickly, but not break the bank, like I said. I looked at a lot of different models. I watched everything, read reviews. Uh-oh, we got an avalanche. Uh, so I, I looked at everything I could find, and I watched the videos of all the different manufacturers. If I could have picked any splitter, no matter what the cost would be, I think I probably would have got a power split um, because it has the elevator built in and you can move the splitter around by itself to the wood um, but this one is not that heavy that i can't move it around i'm going to get a one of the uh a little carts for the front for wheeling around if i find it gets to be too much for moving it around then i'll get a small atv something to use just to move the splitter around um, so that's why I got it. I wanted to get something that was, you know, somewhat reasonably priced. Um, the power splits, I looked at those and they're right around 20 grand for the one, just a, the basic uh, single vertical with the elevator, 19 something I think it was. This I paid, uh, it was 3,500. Right now I think though they're 4,000, but I paid 3,500 and that was with the four way. And I also got the single wedge uh, it was an additional $200 uh, because I did read some reviews and people that like the single, so I just thought I'd just get the single one just in case. And I think if I split, you know, real big stuff from what I saw, which none of this is, but real big stuff, the single works better because you can split it in half and then work on your pieces. Um, so uh, my total price on it with the shippings, it was $1,000 to get it shipped from Canada. It was $4,700. And like I said, the the, uh, the power split was going to be like nineteen hundred and no nineteen thousand five hundred something like that. I also looked at a couple other brands, um, some that are even made in Wisconsin, um, and for the price, uh, this was probably about the best deal uh, for a fast splitter that was uh, reasonably priced. Um, my goal is is to make this last two years. And then by that time, hopefully my business is built up enough and I got enough money banked that I can then spend it on maybe getting something that's even bigger and even faster. Um, but for what I do, this will be adequate, I think. Um, hopefully it'll produce me a bunch of wood that I can sell and put money in my pocket where it belongs. So that is the plan. Splitage time is happening now. Here we go.
There it is. I just split for exactly one hour. And I got, I know for sure, over a full cord done. I'd say maybe, well, it won't know until I stack it, but for sure it's over a full cord. So, wow, way faster. It's three times as fast. I just need to be able to move faster with my body. <laughs> the machine definitely can outpace me. It's fast as you can go, pretty much. Fast as you can grab another piece, throw it up there, and split. Very fast cycle time. And, yeah, I started with the pile, like, right out here, and so I ate that big hole into there, so... I know that I will be able to cut my production time tremendously. So, very cool. Very happy. Honda engine works great. Splitter's nice and fast. I like it a lot. The only thing is, is it produces a lot of heat. I'm kind of in a closed in area right in here because I got a, a wall of wood there and I had a wall of wood over here. So, all the heat was basically just circulating right in here. So. A little warm of course it is like in the upper 70s right now but yeah it, it worked really well um i didn't see any leaks nothing was loose kind of check things over and uh she's a champ she's working good we'll just see how well it lasts and if i can keep it from breaking and uh, just keep going on the wood so there it is the first pile i did one hour i thought i had two hours but i realized i got to be somewhere and about a half an hour from now, so I figured I'd just go one hour. So there it is, the first day of splitting with the Easton, uh, <laughs> Easton made Ultra. There it is, I already got a scratch right there. Look at that, drop the log right on the sticker. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna beat the snot out of this one just like I did the other one, so. There it is, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing the splitter work. I will review it each time I use it and talk about it. Uh, if there's flaws, I'll let you know. Um, the good things, I'll talk about those, and we'll just keep going. So, yeah, I got this pile to do here. There it is. It's a biggie. I got this whole load to do, and then when I'm done with that, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to do this load. So, plenty to do. Lots of work. So, I'm getting at it. So, thanks for watching. Please hit the like, subscribe buttons, and I'll uh, see you next time. Same wood time, same wood channel. Good night, Irene.